Oh, this is not a spring chicken. Yes, we are out of the park. Oh, yes, by the beach. But there's nothing like Christmas that makes you feel like a big kid. <laughs> so we're going to bring old Cam on with comments on the headlines of today. I know, we do. And Obama admits on 60 Minutes that he is only America's fourth greatest president. Uh, amazingly, in violation of jur justice, jur journalist, journalistic integrity, they didn't put that part on the air because they said it made him sound like a pompous asshole. Oh, really? Yeah, they cut it out. They're not supposed to cut that stuff. They deliberately cut things out of a newscast to make him look better, which means that uh, they can't cry foul about anything anybody else does when they do something that extreme. Oh. They say it would have hurt his election cape possibilities if they'd have heard he claiming that he was a fourth greatest president in our nation's history. But didn't he claim that so that people would hear that? Uh -huh. Yeah, with the network. Uh, okay, the networks are running as his campaign managers, and, uh, you know, it's just wrong, folks. See, I think he thought it was right because instead of claiming to be America's first greatest president, he was only claiming to be the fourth well, greatest president. The problem comes is that nobody likes this guy. I mean, he is listed with Jim, below Jimmy Carter, you know, uh, and so he, he's the fourth greatest president in his mind, and he's listed below Carter now, mm. who's the worst president. And Penn State coach says he saw and reported molestation. The only problem is the police department keeps saying there wasn't any reports. See, if there was reports, then Penn State and everybody's off the hook, and the police department just didn't act. Well, you know, see, part of it is when you report it, they don't always file a police report. Um, that's the problem too. Like, but people understand that. My father was a reserve officer for 35 years with the Los Angeles Police Department. The majority of the time, they never reported what was uh, what went down because it was a paperwork thing. They don't want to deal with it. It wasn't anything that they took seriously. It just did not get reported. Yep. And SEC charges ex Fannie Freddie CEOs with fraud. Yeah, but they're not going to go any further than that because if they if they'd have to get Dodd and and Barney Franks and a whole bunch of others. Uh, on, the, on the problem and so they'll they will not go to court with them the fact that they know too many people like there's four more democrats right now that were approved for um, for loans that were turned down oh really yeah they all happen to be on the committee that were basically helping banks in the system so and it's monday so home construction companies want to build build and build to meet the demand i know there is no demand but they said that this is the high since Obama became president, the uh, demand for homes has never been higher than it is right now. You, know, you can't borrow money to buy a home either. And Saudi Prince invests $300 million in Twitter. Shall we say that the failure of the Zanga IPO is basically causing uh, uh, Facebook to back off now of its IPO? Plus the fact Facebook now is in trouble with the United States government over uh, sponsored news things. And torrent of bad financial news flows out of Europe. Yeah, the market's just collapsing. They, well, you they put it this way. When you say, well, we'll have a deal done by December. Well, now we're going to have a deal done by February. There, there's not going to be any deal because those countries are not going to keep feeding the country. They're broke. You just let them go broke and you start all over again. And report slams Dutch Catholic Church over sex abuse. I know. The, the Catholic priests seem to be in trouble all over the world. Was that new news? <laughs> <laughs> I was like, Why, okay, here was one guy. I was listening to one of the Catholic priests. He, he, he said, which, "Which would you rather have a Catholic priest, the guy that's the rumba champion of the New York State, or a guy that basically plays touch football all the time?" Mm -hmm. <laughs> and crime under Obama's Justice Department has fallen to new record lows. I know it, it, it's impossible because it's been lower. You know, it, it, it's not. Okay. All you got to do is see people being burnt to death in elevators. Uh, you know, people being gunned down on the street, you know, people being robbed in their homes. You know that the crime rate is not down. But they also said this morning that they're, they've rejiggered the crime rates to make it look like it was up higher under Bush now than under Obama because they're also not reporting all the crime that happened. They never do. I know. And jurors deadlock in $1 billion lawsuit against Microsoft. Oh, Microsoft never loses this lawsuit. And what Microsoft does is it waits until it's got all the they're like an insurance company. They'll wait until they paid off the cost of whatever it's going to cost them, and then they settle. Mm -hmm. But they'll make billions of dollars while they're doing it. And Comet defies dead brushes up to sun and lives. 
that's how they survive, folks. They make it. They go hit something, pick up energy, and go on again. And thousands of birds killed and injured in crash landing. Yeah, they're they're they, they basically something went wrong with their radar system. <laughs> Yeah, they do. What happens in radar units and other things can screw up the uh, birds' uh, basically ability to know where they're at. And they simply thought they were higher in the air and they hit the ground instead. Ooh. And how Ron Paul could win the Republican presidential nomination? Uh, because he has the best. Okay, better than Romney. He has the best uh, group of people out there because they're all young, they're unpaid, and he's got lots of money. Which means it's theoretically impossible. It's possible. I think Ron Paul is going to sweep, uh, he's going to win Iowa and probably some of the southern states now. But wow. Paul is still going to run as an independent, everybody knows it. And Democratic Senator tells Reed to turn down his rhetoric. Well, because the guy is basically, you know, it's dead on arrival. The Republicans are doing nothing but for the wealthy, so what happens? The Democrats pass legislation to help the wealthy get their money. Burned to death in the elevator owed suspect two thousand dollars. I know the crime is going down in the country. Our president will say less than normal. She burned to death in an elevator. Yeah, she didn't pay the bill, so they bought a top cocktail in the elevator. But the idiot doesn't understand that did it. Uh, Isn't it all on? He's in combat care. It's all on camera when he's doing it. The oh. elevators are all covered by uh, by cameras. Yeah, and blizzard-like conditions expected from southwest to plains. Uh, look at us, folks. We're in the west. It's like 52 degrees out here at the moment. It is cold, cold, cold. It's gonna. It's cold enough that when we snow, you can, it will snow in the foothills again tonight, which are not that far away from Los Angeles. Mm -hmm. And veteran TV and film actor Dan Fraser dies at age 90. I, mean, I didn't realize the guy. Okay, here's the problem: is I, I, I tend to forget how old I am. And if somebody was older than me, I was working with them, they're god awful old. I mean, I look at the the, the people on Turner Classic Movies who died this past year, I can remember working with almost all of them. God, they said, I didn't realize he was that old. And then I say, oh, I'm that old. <laughs> <laughs> and Obama may have options with controversial pipeline project. Yeah, you know, his option is he's going to sign the bill with the pipeline thing in it and just ignore that he signed it. And Russia oil spills weak wreck devastation, 5 million tons per year. Uh, actually, yeah, they said it's already went, yeah. I well, bless you. <coughs> it's already went by the event horizon thing five times already, and nobody's saying a word about it. The environmentalists aren't mentioning it. Uh, and Michigan residents get letter calling Christmas lights pagan. Oh, it's just asinine, folks. I live in a politically correct neighborhood where the only people in the neighborhood say Merry Christmas is the uh, Muslims living in a little mosque type. Is that kind of disgusting? That's that politically correct. I know. Although it does say, feel really good to tell somebody well, Merry Christmas. They're getting ready to ban. They're, they're getting ready to ban Christmas trees. We have Christmas tree uh, syndrome now, which a Christmas tree can make you. Said a lot. Most of that time, when you think that you're you're fatigued and worn out, oh, it's your Christmas tree that's causing it. Oh you know, come on! Because you said they're cutting Christmas trees and they're, they're being stored before they come to storage, and therefore causes people to be sick. And the only way to solve it. Of course, it happens to fly by. So, what's the only way to solve Christmas tree syndrome? Yeah, the Christmas trees. That's hogwash. Yeah, but you have to understand it was done by a university that's being the left-wing liberals. And Obama may have options with controversial pipeline project. Yeah, which is just they've signed the bill and simply forget about it. And Chilean girl dies after separation from conjoined twin. That's what happens. Uh, they're, they're, they're not as good at that in the United States. You come to this country to have the surgery done, not that elsewhere. Which we've saw, seen, because we've seen you've been that. to those we've press conferences. Yep. And a Monty bubbleism from the Mark Twain of the Animal Kingdom. Oh, this one's, okay. The, you must be lonely if you have no friends on Facebook. 